Oracles. All right, we're recording now. All right, so um, if you don't want to be recorded, leave now. Your mom. Can I boot Jamie? <laughs> No, I'm, not, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on good terms with my mom or dad right now, so it doesn't matter. Fair enough. Um, so financial update. So uh, our donations are underscore. Uh, also, our PayPal giving is underscore. Um, <laughs> there, there's some, <laughs> there's some questions party. about our donation box. You guys are um, awesome. Question. Question. And we have ten dollars in online donations this month. What about Amazon? Uh, I did see a thing. Uh, pass by. I have to look at my email actually. Uh, it was like 280 something. 281 yeah. change. Yeah, something like that. Uh, we yeah. got we got some money from pay, from uh, uh, Amazon. I just saw the email. I think it was 284. It was yeah. uh, last As month of on the May. 20th. Yeah. Uh, 281 dollars and 34 cents. That's for the uh, last quarterly donation. Um, so thank you all for using, uh, Amazon smile. It's very helpful to other lab. Yay. And if um, you buy video games, you can do the same thing with humble bundle. Yes. Um, our class income is, um, dashed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's just a couple of dashes there. That's it. Uh, so no. watch hard. have you done, have you taught any classes? Did you make us any money? Uh, it's been a little while because, from classes because family reasons, um, and they were not being charged anyway, so. Fair enough. Um, so, uh, our membership changes is we gained one and we lost three, which I, I fully expect us to probably lose a few more members through this process because people aren't working very much and financial issues and stuff like that, so. It's not unexpected, but uh, but we did gain one this month, so that's a that's definitely a plus. Woot. Um, so current status is we have 125 members. Uh, that includes family and special cases. Um, so our June rent, uh, it just says Dave Woods. I thought just that was last another, month. Another another thank you to Dave Woods for the just donation another. of rent. Okay, I left, I left it there. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know if you had done it the second time. I just didn't see it. No, but, but um, I'm glad for the clarification. I thought we were renting Dave Woods. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's yeah, a very different situation. Down. I will say thank, so... you, thank you, thank you, Dave Woods, for <laughs> covering our rent for a whole month because that was extremely helpful and gets us into a much, much better financial situation. Um, so. Next item is our annual meeting. So we'll be having a virtual annual meeting on the 27th of June at 3 p.m. So that's, what, two weeks away? The Saturday after this. Yeah. So we um, get virtual cheese grits? <laughs> say again? Will there be virtual vegan options? <laughs> yes. Virtual cheese grits. Forget the vegan. I want virtual cheese grits. So, um, oh, well. So there will be there will be an amazing bar. The bathrooms will be as clean as you keep them, awesome. and uh, it's all you can drink. You can drink right in the middle of all of the speeches if you really wish. You could. Don't you we can do that anyway? You, or not? You, can, you can turn the annual meeting into a drinking game. Anybody, anytime anybody says, you know, Famolab, uh, Duocracy, or you know, like seventeen stack. Seven, Dave, are you shot. trying to give people liver poisoning? Is this, <laughs> is this the call? The yes. <laughs> um, so what's the keyword for drinking shots? Um, <laughs> just um. Bored. Yes, um. Um. Bored. <laughs> That's just for the board members or four more board members. Hell yes. Tater tot shots and for everybody. Now a couple people are already drunk. Uh, okay, so... Um, We'll be, we'll be doing the meeting uh, virtually on the 27th at 3 p.m. Uh, if you can come, please do. Uh, it's a small group here with us tonight, so you know I'm sure most of you will be there anyway. But uh, we really do need to get as many people as possible there. Uh, we do have to meet the requirements of our bylaws. So if you uh, if you can 
push that as well. We're going to try and push it through announcements and through uh, Slack, but do what you can if you can. Uh, so we are going to end up doing online voting. Uh, Craig has found an on anonymized online voting that allows us to send out links to individuals that can only be used once. So we'll be able to go through and do uh, online voting. So everybody will be able to have their voice heard. Uh, the things that are the major things that are going to be on the uh, uh, the agenda for the annual meeting is we're going to do board elections. Uh, currently, it the board elections are mostly pro forma. Uh, there are four open seats. Three people who are running for those four seats are already on the board, and one person who is running for that that open seat, which is mine. Um, is running unopposed. So uh, it's pretty much pro forma on that, but we do also have two additional items. We are going to uh, essentially get membership approval for the change to our membership process. Uh, the, the TLDR for that is we're going to move away from uh, testimonials and move to kind of an interview with a board member kind of set up because testimonials have kind of turned into, hey, they didn't kill anybody this week and or they did it in a way where they cleaned up after themselves. Once again, still not helpful. So trying to get a little bit more information and trying to get to know the peer person a little bit better so that, you know, at a minimum, the board can can get to know them a little bit. I mean, if the membership would do it and they would, you know, voice their their opinion that's not just they're not three raccoons in a trench coat, you know, it, it we would not be moving in this direction. How do the um, bigger spaces like Artisans and NYC Resistor do this? I know that we revisited this before, but... The lots of volunteer. Have... Yeah, a lot of other spaces have a bigger volunteer force, so they and kind of other CRM systems. So they kind of have a more involved process that's kind of overseen by that volunteer team and membership coordinator. So basically, we had all the problems of a bigger space and a smaller space. Go team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we're not we're trying to not go free for all like maker effects. It works for them, but I don't we don't I, want that. Yeah. Mm, nah, mm, 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 mm. Uh, and that leads into the next item on the uh, the the uh, agenda for the annual meeting, which is, um, I know that uh, you were part of some of the discussions early on, Jamie, uh, with talking with Ian and Candy about doing some cross uh, cross memberships between us and Maker Effects. Um, we're still gonna work out some details. Actually, we're not gonna work out some details. The new board will work out some of the details. But uh, I've been talking with Ian and Candy, trying to get some things uh, discussed and at least get it get it figured out a little bit. But essentially, what we're going to do is just do offer a reduced rate for people who are current members at MakerFX, um, and they said that they will uh, reciprocate. But that's all stuff to be hammered out relatively soon, uh, especially since we have a lot of things that are kind of. Uh, not time dependent right now because like maker fair is still kind of questionable and like there's a lot of things that are all questionable right now anything is possible after maker fair sure did anyone else hear dave giggle in his head when he said the next board because that's what i heard i, I heard <laughs> maniacal giggling and the sound of a bottle opening well you also you also heard me abdicating my roles really quickly <laughs> That that did break a land speed record, actually. That's that's faster than I dropped stuff. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, we're looking at doing some some uh, some cross pollination. Maybe we'll get access to some more of Maker Effects's people. We can hopefully pick up a few more members, even if even if it's at a reduced rate, because we have a lot of tools that Maker Effects does not have, and Maker Effects has some tools and classes and some people that we don't have. So hopefully some cross pollination will be helpful. Is it pollination basically plant sex? Yes. Okay. But we're but we're fucking some some maker spaces here. Sweet. Um. So 
potential members. Uh, what we're trying to do, since we're, we're not going to be really open to the public so much because of all the COVID stuff, uh, we're trying to do tours and provisionals come in and use the space more as kind of an appointment item. So uh, some of the, the voicemails and emails that uh, have showed up in ops and showed up in board, uh, we just need to kind of make sure that we're following up on those and that we're trying to schedule people in for, for appointments, for tours and things so that people will be able to, to get to know the space, we can get to know them a little bit, and hopefully be able to add a few more members to stuff. And also just like general members, Please, if you if you're able to volunteer, like if we send someone to Slack to ask, um, hey, is anyone at at space? I'm a provisional member, or I want to I want to check out the space. Um, we just need people to help us with tours, if people are able to. Please and thank you. Um. So. Uh, does anybody have any particular issues, things they want to talk about, discussion stuff? Yes, Lily. I'm going to BattleBots. Nobody Woo. cares. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, yeah. Hold on. Mixed Hold reactions. On. Hold on. I can fix this. Hey, so we're there. having the biggest. Did you just get out? That's no. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to BattleBots uh, in <laughs> August, um, which is really fun. And I will be very shortly taking over a corner of the metal shop in a build blitz. Um, so, that's I mean, this is the best time for her because almost no one's there. True. Yeah. Are you so, your bot? Yeah, I'm running my bot. My team is yeah. go Sporknock is going to BattleBots. We're gonna have um, the biggest goddamn watch party at the lab. Just so hell, aware. <laughs> hell, a socially, yes. socially distanced, uh, bullshit something largest watch party. <laughs> Virtually. Yeah, that's probably unfortunately <laughs> the case. We'll have a bigger party after it's safe again. So 2025. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Congratulations, Lily. Thank you. Oh, hey. But also, hey. but also, Hi, if if anyone wants to help out with any of the build process, let me know. I can add you to the private Slack channel. It has to be private, just for NDA potential. Um, but I'm going to be coordinating that very soon. Woo! Congrats! Yay! <laughs> Does anybody else have anything else to talk about? I love you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, upcoming events. Uh, virtual is avail as available. So, we'll, uh, next board meeting is going to be July uh, something, uh, <laughs> between 8 and 9. Uh, so, some, so, all of July between 8 and 9 is the board meeting. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's, so you should it's fine because it doesn't affect me in the least. Meetup, right? <laughs> I'll figure it out now. I forgot. Sorry. It, it, it doesn't matter. To, it doesn't matter because um. it doesn't affect me in the least. But um, <laughs> what'll happen is after the after the annual meeting, you guys are going to get together and actually figure out how you're going to do your board stuff and who's going to be doing what. Uh, just a reminder to go back to the annual meeting stuff. Nobody is elected to a position. You are electing for the board. The board internally decides who is what. Assuming direct control. <laughs> so our next member meeting is going to be July 21st uh, between uh, at 8 o'clock. Uh, somebody from the new board will be running that. Uh, annual meeting is the 27th which will be the last time I will be running anything at the lab. Uh, that's at 3 p.m. I'm definitely so, hearing a steady stream of giggling from Dave. <laughs> so <laughs> long. Basically, the, that meeting is going to be a mic drop followed by a Hunger Games, it sounds like. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to resign at that meeting. At no, I tried that shit. No, I tried that shit. We do not accept <laughs> your resignation. Well, 
Okay. Maybe the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> Do we have any of those bullshit stickers we can just, like ship to him to stick on his forehead like we did to me? Because I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna mark you as out of service, Dave. That's fine. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, Recurring events. Well, uh, for the time being, everything's canceled. Yeah, like we can't have Basically. public facing events uh, just for safety reasons. We are constantly looking at things and constantly checking on, uh, we being the board, checking on, you know, the state of COVID in the state of Florida. Um, and yeah. to clarify, there's a difference between what the state has decided and what smart people have decided. We're, we're, we're playing it very cautious. Like, yes, it hurts Lab to not have public events. Yes, it sucks to not have public events, but... We'd rather not have public events and hurt a little bit than for anyone to get sick. We like it's hard to pay life. dues via PayPal when you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> that too. And we it don't want how much is left in your PayPal for recurring. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's true. true. If it's it could slowly account. drain over time, you know. <laughs> little funnel of recurring <laughs> payments. This isn't um, getting morbid at all. Anyway, all so moving on. <laughs> so moving on, we currently have no testimonials, um, but I would like to say that Alexander uh, came to the last board meeting and sat through the entire thing and did not run away. He saw the sausage <laughs> being made, and he actually was still interested in being a member. Wow. Because sausage. <laughs> He's also sitting through all of this stuff, too. <laughs> yes, he is. So I'm going to... That is my testimonial for Alexander. I think Alexander uh, is it at least interested enough in, in the, the community aspect to actually take part. Oops. So I, I am giving a testimonial for Alexander. Welcome, man. Uh, so, awesome box. Uh, so referring member is Lily... The awesome Me. box is Michelle. Uh, Michelle has been doing a great job at keeping the board organized and documented. Thank you, Michelle. Yes, has not demonstrated today. Has not demonstrated the, the actual work today. <laughs> Look, we had an agenda period. That's yeah. that's like 100% better we had a than template. if she wasn't here. <laughs> if Michelle wasn't here, we wouldn't have an agenda at all. So, 100% okay, better. Is this damning with faint praise? It sounds like no! this is damning with faint praise. No! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, new members. So, we'll, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hand uh, this over to Alexander and let him talk for a couple minutes and tell us a little about himself, and then he'll get um, to listen to us talk, text to him about, chat? talk to him about him. He might only be in the text chat. Yeah, oh. we didn't. Uh, there he is. He replied in the thing, but hey guys, Ever mute. oh hey, everybody else mute. Um, not really sure what to say. I, I had a couple things lined up for the board meeting, but that has all since gone above my head. That was about two weeks ago. Um, <laughs> Who are you? What do you make? What do you want to make? All those things. Yeah. Uh, my How did you find us? I'm I'm a student. I found you guys back in 2012, I think. Um. I went to, to high school there back then, uh, graduated, spent some time at home for some time, and I got bored. Um, so when you're bored, you start looking for stuff. And I found Raspberry Pis, and I saw that, um, what's his name? Eben from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. He gave, um, he was doing a tour, and this thing comes up, Family Lab. I'm like, oh, that's, that's different. Um, I was looking at some some hacking videos the other day, uh, at the time, and Makerspaces came up, and I'm like, oh, that, that lines up with with um, what I was looking for for then. Um, so I said, why not sign up for the tour? Um, sign up for the tour. You guys have open make night. Um, I get to see even he gives a talk. This is back when I think it was the the first generation of Raspberry Pis, and quickly found out I wasn't a programmer. I'm like, okay, well, out. Um, I start studying engineering. I'm, I'm more familiar with some hardware stuff. Um, 
And yeah, I just want to do more and more hands-on stuff. What uh, kind of engineering? Electrical. Electrical and computer engineering. Um, okay, so you're so you're a programmer now. I'm I'm a better program than I was before. Um, I, I like some embedded stuff, but really, the practice isn't there. Um, Lily Lily mentioned going to uh, what was it? Um, Metalbots. I've been to Maker Fair a couple times. Had no idea Lily was the the coordinator for um, what is it? Robot Ruckus. So you can't see me, but I am bowing down in praise. Um, there you go. Awesome. Um, so I, I, I like robots, um, just anything with a motor really gets me going. Um, I've also done, <laughs> I've mentored the, there's a joke in there. Um, I mentioned, um, working with robots before and I, I helped, uh, mentor one of the high schools in the area. I think they're, um, Colonial High School. They did the first robotics competition. I think that was about a little over a year ago now. Um, so that's, that's really where I'd like to go, but I love learning. I love picking up some new things. If I can become a member and this whole COVID thing, um, gets resolved, hopefully knock on wood. Um, I'd also like to teach a couple classes. Uh, I worked for, um, I worked in higher education for about five years, um, both as a student and as a staff member. And, um, there's a couple of things I think I can, I can bring to the lab to possibly help out, um, I think it also helped me to practice teaching some of the engineering stuff that I learned. So it kind of like just kind of ties it all together. Um, the biggest part for me about joining Find Me Lab is the community. Um, going into the more professional spaces, um, some of them, they're nice. Some of them are not so nice. So I'm looking for nicer things. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just looking for more positive stuff. And you guys top the cake. So. Well, awesome. Yeah. That was a <laughs> Nice. Brian, was your question answered or did you want to ask a question? Uh, my original question was answered. I'll let other people ask before I go with the traditional uh, <laughs> questions. The usual. Alexander, yeah. uh, do you have any particular fandom stuff? Fandom stuff? Uh, are you a Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who? Oh. Do you do you like, I don't know, My Little Pony? What is what is your <laughs> thing that you enjoy the most? Um, I tend to like the older school video games. Uh, I grew up with an N sixty four, and if you say that's not the best console ever to exist, we we quickly do not become friends. Um, I will I will agree that that is not the best console ever because I grew up with a Coleco, and I can tell you it's far better. I have no idea what that is. Oh, shots fired. 64 is considered I'm old now. Oh. <laughs> I think a Coleco. Oh, my God. How old are you? A Coleco is a, a boomer game, I think. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Them fighting words. Yeah, um, came for the I'm community. Not... Now he's here for the blood fest. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what? where he's supposed to go. I, I think Ale I Alexander, yeah. what game have you played the most on the N64? Oh, oh, that's a tough one. Pilot Wings? Who? And why <laughs> is it Ocarina of Time? Yes. So, <laughs> someone called it out. Um, yeah, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. That, that was my pride and joy. Um, I tend to like more of the RPG games, and LOZ takes the takes the win. Um, started with the 64. I played Arcade of Time. I played Majora's Mask. I skipped the GameCube because back then I just I just couldn't afford it. Um, I later went on um, through non-reputable sources and found a way to play that on the computer. Um, but in case anyone's listening, I did not do that. Um, when Breath of the Wild came out, it was like, okay, okay, um, I'm a little happy. Don't cry. I cried a lot, um, especially in the opening scene, hearing the music, hearing all the all the just nostalgic melodies come in. You have that piano riff, and then running for dear life away from the Guardians. That was an interesting twist. Um, I got blown up a lot of times, but I was happy playing Legend of Zelda. 
Um, Donkey Kong was another good one. Pretty much the whole Nintendo cast. I mean, if you play one Nintendo game, you have to play the others. Uh, I also played up on the PlayStation 2, the Jack and Daxter series. Um, I went up Jack 1, 2, and 3. Um, got through to play that during the, the lockdown uh, over again, because why not? Who do you main in Smash? Ooh. And why so, is it Link? Again, <laughs> uh, play Smash on the N64. I did not like melee whatsoever on the GameCube. So that's, that tends to push some people away. I, I continued that throughout the other conference too. But yes, Link is my main. Um, naturally fitting, but I also think he's a close range and mid range and a little far range if you can throw the bombs far enough. Um, so um, don't play me in, in Hyrule Castle. I will quickly corner you into the corner and just slash away until you're at 300% and then find a final smash to get you off the field. Well, awesome. CRT or LCD for Smash Brothers? Say again? CRT or LCD for Smash yeah. Ooh. See, the, the, the older games, you, you need the glow from the CRT. It just doesn't look right on the plasma. It's, it's too flat. You want to you wanna feel the, the x-rays going into your eyes. Does anyone else have any questions for Alexander? No. Uh, I'll ask one final one. Do you want to join a BattleBots team? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to message you, bud. If yeah. You, you yeah. Me. Message me and I can add you to the Slack channel. Um, but, anyways, thank you, Alexander, for sitting through not only the board meeting, this meeting, and not running away. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, we'll, we'll coordinate getting you a, a provisional badge probably this weekend. Um, or sometime this week. No. Um, does anybody... We don't have any... Oh, no ponies. <laughs> does anybody else have anything they would like to add to the member meeting? Anything they would like to discuss? Any compliments? Any shouting matches? Any Anything? Uh, I, will, I will add... Are we going to have shouting matches? Sweet. Uh, chaos. I will add one thing to the the end of all of this, uh, since this is officially my my last actual member meeting. Um, thank you all for the the years of I want to say joy, but it's not always been joy. But I, I want to say thank you for all the time and effort that all of you put into the lab and making sure that everything has stayed going. And, and I appreciate every one of you for all the things that you've done. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. I'm clapping while muted. <laughs> 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 oh. Is that a virtual Lily? <laughs> no. I think that no. was Lily. Somebody <laughs> muted it. No, that wasn't Lily. It was totally not Lily. Look, you should, you should just not give me control of things. Although that, that would have been Clicks perfect for a, a virtual meeting. mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, that was totally not, was. That was totally not Lily. <laughs> Can you say something, Dave, just so we get that on recording? Your face. <laughs> Dave, thank you for everything. This is serious talk. Serious talk. Thank you for everything you do for Famalab that you have done. Um, you've done more than I think anybody will ever realize. Yes. Uh, over the years. Thank you for and... being so kickable from the Google Meet. <laughs> yeah, thank you for giving me control of things. <laughs> um, I'm sad to see you leave the board, but also I am glad that you now will have a break. <laughs> He's just not going to talk anymore. You say, <laughs> you say sad to leave as you kick them again. <laughs> well, I, I'm looking forward to a break. I'm not going to be going anywhere, and I'll still be around, I'm sure. So, how round are you going to be? <laughs> uh, well, I, it's been. Well, look at the former board members, man. Yeah, it's mm. it's been 
you know, right. there might be quarantine. a bad spot in the future. So quarantine, that's what all I gotta say. It's just quarantine. Like I realize now after sitting through a pandemic, why all of the, the Renaissance paintings are all of like, like chubby women with their boobs hanging out and like, <laughs> they're all just sitting around just like, ah, well, you know, we're going to have to do away with I feel print. personally attacked by that. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid Wait, it. is there, is there no a you just, like, like, hanging out with your boobs hanging out? No, it's all about that sports for a man. But I am the Rob, with it. Rob will let his tits hang out. <laughs> that's, no. that's true. That's true. He's doing it right now. When the lab is cr- <laughs> scrapped for cash, we have a backup plan. <laughs> I, thought, like, I thought like Rob's massage parlor was the backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little bit of column uh, B. Okay, we are we are divulging a lot, so I think that we should <laughs> end the official agenda and the official meeting so that we can and end the, the recording. recording. So that before this gets, I any would like words, to say you said divulging, not joking, divulging. <laughs> Diverging, That's telling. Diverging, divulging, whatever. Diverging. Whatever it is. Diverging. I mean, uh, it wasn't oh. incorrect. We're getting <laughs> off track. Uh, so I'm going to end the official meeting and thusly the recording. Thank you, everyone who showed up. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of you. Ten. Hey, bye bye. Hey, I'm here. Oh, okay, here. Rob, Rob counts as two. There's two in there. So 11. Okay. Maybe eleven then. <laughs> That's what. Whatever. All of you. Thank you. More than five. <laughs> <laughs>